Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So in this one, I want to share with you a testing strategy I've been using myself for the past few months. Ever since the introduction of CBO Budget Send, I've wanted to find out whether it truly is the best way um, of doing things. So does Facebook actually truly spend your budget um, correctly? And there is a way of actually doing this because Facebook is a numbers game. Numbers are very black and white. Um, they don't lie. So for example, if ad set A gets a 20 pence cost per link click and ad set B gets a 30 pence cost per link click, then obviously ad set A um, is achieving better results. And what I've found then is by running these split tests, by testing the different budgets against each other, then it's actually a really good way of proofing your audiences and truly finding the best audiences to scale. If you've watched my videos in the past, then you'll know that I like to test things or I like to scale things. I like to test as many different audiences as possible, find the best ones, and then choose say two or three to scale and actually dedicate the majority of my budget into those. We know that ad sets optimize on ad set level, so it makes sense then to spend the majority of your budget on a handful of ad sets rather than split it across say 10 or 12 different ones. And with that being said, then let's jump straight into the video. Um, so the way I'm gonna structure this video, I've got a Google document here, which will be downloadable by the way. If you check out the video description, it'll be the first link. Um, everybody can download it, it won't cost you any money. Um, so I'm gonna run through this very quickly because essentially this is what the strategy looks like on paper. And then we're gonna jump into my ad account, which we've just seen. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to set it up in real terms. Just very quickly though, I wanna say a massive thank you to everybody watching this video, everybody who's supporting the channel and subscribing. Um, recently we hit 10K subs and I am in the process at the moment of thinking of a different giveaway or some sort of bonus or competition to do. So if you've got any kind of suggestions for that, I'd love to hear them and make sure you leave a comment down below. I read every single comment too. So if there is a question you wanna ask me, then just post it down below, I will answer it. And of course, if you enjoy these kind of videos on Facebook ads, if you want more videos, let me make sure you let me know, leave a comment, leave a like, and of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button too. And with that being said, then let's get straight into the video. Um, I do apologize for the long intro, but trust me, it'll be worth it. So essentially the way this works in is we're gonna be running two complete different campaigns side by side against each other. Both of them will be CBO campaigns, but one of them will have this $5 per day cost control. Everything else will be the same, so all the variables will be the same. Essentially it's three ad sets. Um, a 15 pound daily budget, i.e. five pound per ad set. If you wanna test, say four ad sets, just increase that daily budget to 20 pounds. The main thing here is obviously that we dedicate at least five pounds or the same amount per ad set. Moving on, we wanna make sure we use the same creative for each ad set as well. It wouldn't be a fair test if we're using different creatives. We wanna use the purchase objective because within the conversion campaigns, they're the only campaigns in which Facebook actively mention the word optimization in which a campaign and ad set, sorry, can actually optimize. And and that's gonna be important, which I'll highlight later on in the video. Audience size, we wanna to stick to around 1 million plus or minus 250K. We want all genders and ages. Since we are testing, we wanna find exactly essentially where the most interest is coming from. And we want two level flex targeting. I'm not gonna get into it, but basically it's the best way of targeting a high quality audience. I've done previous videos in the past on this. We wanna go for newsfeed only because it's the biggest space on the screen. And when you're testing, you wanna make sure that you're testing people who have actually seen your ad. So for example, if I go over to my Facebook news feed, um, just get rid of this. Um, if we were to choose this section here then, which is the third party column, then obviously not everybody's gonna register it, not everybody's gonna see our ad. So it's gonna give us kind of false results, a false reading. We wanna make sure that we target purely um, where's this document? We wanna make sure that we target purely people who have definitely seen our ad. It's gonna give us more true results. Now, if we were retargeting, it's fine to use those certain spaces because people have seen our brand before. Therefore, they're more like subconsciously, they're more likely to spot it in that smaller space. But that's a whole different um, topic for another video. The next point is we wanna make sure our conversion window is at seven day click. That way, Facebook is gonna consider more actions because it'll be over seven days versus one day. And then the final point is there's gonna be no cost control for this CPO campaign. So essentially what that means is that Facebook will be free to spend and divert our budget um, in its own right, in its own sense, whichever way it thinks is the best way to do it. Moving on to the ad set budget campaign. So this will be a CBO. Everything will be exactly the same apart from this bottom line here. We're gonna be setting a rule to make sure that $5 per day is assigned to each ad set equally. So if you wanna run a different amount of ad sets with a different daily budget, then all you do is take 
the daily budget divided by the amount of ad sets and that is what your per day cost control should be. Now, just to give some background information of essentially how this works, both campaigns are exactly the same except one has an ad set spending limit and the runtime for this is gonna be three days minimum because it is a conversion campaign. We wanna give it that chance to essentially perform at its best. Um, like I mentioned earlier on in the video, conversion campaigns are essentially the only campaigns in which Facebook actively talk about optimization. So why do this? Why does it actually make sense? Number one, Facebook is a numbers game and numbers do not lie, they're very black and white. If the same ad set from both campaigns outperforms the other so the data is better versus the others then you can guarantee you've found a better audience and therefore you know exactly which ad set to then go on to scale so for example then we're running two campaigns against each other each campaign has ad set a b and c if ad set b from both campaigns from both campaigns performs the best then we know definitely which ad set to then take on and scale and dedicate the majority of our budget to the next steps as it states in the google document is to take the best performing ad set and then go on to scale it. In terms of how to do that, there's multiple different ways to scale a particular ad set. Um, perhaps I could do a video on the topic. Um, if you do want to see, say, a part two to this video on scaling, make sure you comment part two below. And if we get, I don't know, let's say 20 people commenting part two, then I'll release the next part of the video. So essentially then in its bare bones, that's exactly what this strategy looks like on paper. However, let's get into the practical side then and actually show you how to set this up um, in practical terms. So to begin from, to start from the beginning, um, we're gonna create a new campaign. We'll start over, we want conversions. It's gonna be a purchase, so make sure you name your purchase campaigns to exactly what there are. Um, I've set up like a test Facebook page. Um, so it's gonna be a purchase campaign and we're gonna sell um, Apple Watch straps. We want a campaign budget optimization. There's gonna be three ad sets in this one. So we wanna set our daily budget to 15 pounds. And once you've done that, then just click continue and we'll move into the ad set, the tags inside of things. Just make sure you select the right pixel, select the right conversion event, um, and then we'll move into the audience side of things. So I'm gonna leave it to the UK because typically what I'll do is I'll just focus on one country. Because I'm from the UK, I'll start in the UK. And if I can sell it here profitably, then I'll start to scale out into different countries all ages, all genders, and then detail tags. And this is where all the money is made to be, um, in my opinion. This is the differentiation between a skillful marketer and somebody who isn't skillful. So we're going for Apple Watches. Obviously, we're just gonna start with Apple because it's gonna be a pretty huge audience. Um, let's scroll down, see if there's just a general one there is which takes us to 2.9 million people. According to the Google Doc, we wanna get this down to 1 million people. So let's go narrow. And because it's an iWatch strap, then we could see if we can actually target the Apple Watch itself, which we can as an interest. That brings us down to 310,000 people, which is a bit too small to be honest um, at the testing stage. So what I wanna do is try and increase this. So what we're gonna go for is, in fact, let's go for suggestions and see what Facebook um, suggests for us. So we could go, essentially we wanna try and find people who own an Apple Watch. So engaged buyers will be a good one. It also takes our potential reach up to 880,000 people, which is within that tolerance of plus or minus 250K. And essentially it's a pretty ideal audience in fact, because we're targeting people who are interested in Apple, also interested in an Apple Watch and they're engaged shoppers. So they have a history of clicking that shop now button. So this is ideal then for our first audience. We're gonna move down then, we're gonna edit the placements, make sure we stick to the Facebook news feeds. So we're gonna get rid of audience network. Um, I'm gonna keep the Instagram news feed in fact. So Instagram feed, marketplace, video feeds, right column, and Instagram explore. We'll get rid of stories for now. We'll get rid of in stream. We'll get rid of search and in article. Now there are a time and place for all of these different placements, but because we are testing, like I said, we wanna make sure that people have actually seen our ad, registered what the product is, because then we're gonna get a better understanding um, of how our ad um, essentially performs. Moving on to the next stage then. So this is where things will change when we come back to the duplicated campaign. But because this is the first CBO we're setting up, we're not gonna set any rules. We're just gonna continue on and complete um, this particular ad set. So the Facebook page I'm gonna run this from is the YouTube test, which I set up um, just for this video. We wanna make sure we use an existing post so that we're compounding all the engagement onto one particular post. I'm gonna go ahead 
and use this one here. So genuine leather Apple watch straps, few of the full range, and then we've got a link to our particular product. All this looks pretty good to me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click confirm for the sake of this video. Now this is finally loaded then, essentially what we have is one purchase campaign set up with one ad set and one ad creative. The way the strategy works then is we wanna to go to the ad set level and we're gonna duplicate this in the existing campaign and we wanna duplicate it twice. Now each time we duplicate it then we want, or the only thing we want to change is the interest targeting. So essentially we're targeting a different interest. So edit. Um, and this is the only section in which we want to change, but we want to make sure we keep that potential reach within a million people plus or minus 250K. And the reason being then is because we want to make sure it's a fair test as much as possible. It wouldn't be fair to go ahead and test a 100K audience against a 1 million audience against a 10 million audience because $5 in comparison to each of those audience sizes is a big difference and therefore it would be an unfair test. So we wanna keep it within the parameters of the strategy within that document. So what I'm gonna do now then is I'm gonna go ahead, um, duplicate this a couple of times and then show you what the outcome will look like. So once you've duplicated your ad set a couple of times, this is what you'll have. So you'll have one CBO campaign, you'll have three ad sets and then you'll have three creatives, but each creative will be the same. Now the next step then, what we wanna do is make sure we split test the campaign and to do this then what you have to do is unfortunately you have to create a new campaign if you duplicate it it won't let you make changes to the way the budget um, is set out so just simply create a campaign start over conversions um, and then just name it pur um, apple watch strap to go ahead click cbo set the daily budget to the same as the first campaign we created which will be 15 pounds and then it's dead easy from here on so all you have to do is just obviously make sure you fill out all the details exactly the same as the first campaign we created so ad set a needs to be the same as ad set a for this campaign b the same as b c the same as c but then the difference um, for this particular campaign is you want to go to the very bottom to optimization and spending controls click see more options and what we're going to do is set an ad set spend limit so edit uh, add spend limits to this ad set and we're going to set a maximum of five pounds per day and what that's going to do then is make sure that if we set the same rule per ad set within the cbo each ad set is going to get the fair same amount of spend so just go ahead click continue Add the same creative, so YouTube test, use existing post, select the post. It was the top one we used for the last campaign. Now this is important we use, we make sure that absolutely everything is exactly the same as the first campaign creative, apart from the way in which Facebook is gonna spend its budget. Once this is confirmed then and takes us back to the campaign screen, we're gonna select these top two, which is the ones we've just created. Uh, we'll go filter by selection. Now essentially what we have is two campaigns that are exactly the same as each other apart from the way they spend their money. We're gonna run them for at least three days and then we're gonna compare the results, compare the ad sets, and then see which one is getting the best results. And whichever one gets the best results is the one we're gonna select and actually go on and start to scale. And like I said earlier on in the video, if you want a part two on how to scale that one, just make sure you leave a comment down below. One final thing then, which I haven't shown you yet, um, which is fairly straightforward, is you just wanna open up this campaign and then duplicate this twice and make sure that the ad sets in this campaign, Apple Watch Strap 2, match the ad sets in Apple Watch Straps, the original campaign we created. Well, with that being said then guys, that wraps up the entire strategy. I really do, I hope it makes sense. I know it probably got complicated at points, so if there is any questions, uh, make sure you comment them below. I will answer every single one. If you do actually go out there and use this strategy, make sure you come back, let me know how you get on, because from my experience, there's no better way of kind of guaranteeing that you've found yourself like a really high quality audience, and you're gonna have a better hit rate in terms of the ad sets that you do go on to scale. With that being said then, I'm gonna wrap the video up. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate the support. It does mean a lot. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Please do make sure you subscribe as well. I do upload on average about four or five videos a week. And finally, any comments, questions, whatever it is, if you just wanna get in touch, I'll leave a comment down below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.